My name is Astrid and uh, I have been up here since 2015. The reason I came up, it's a little bit funny uh, because I didn't really know what Svalbard was when I looked up. <laughs> the first I didn't know about here, long even, long even, so but I don't know where it is. Okay. Because I got the, the contract from the, the hotel, uh, someone to cooking Thai food with her and then she I came to Svalbard roughly after six years of traveling, who has never been dog sledding. And I got an offer from Svalbard. First time when I came up here, I started working uh, in a restaurant. I didn't enjoy myself so much. And uh, now I work as a dog sled guide. And it's the best job I had in my life. First of all, I love dogs. But secondly, it's a job with many sides. So uh, most of our guests, they probably just see me guiding. But we do other things as well. We either we're uh, guiding or we're there taking care of the dogs. I'm working with these dogs last 18 months, and you could probably see it when I when I came here. The toughest thing about being here is probably the times when you don't enjoy yourself. The first time, uh, I don't think like uh, it uh, where is Robert. My cousin just said no way. When it's dark outside all the time, for example, it feels even smaller. So for tourists, when they come up here, uh, they can rent a rifle. So what they need is either a weapons card from their country where they're from. Uh, that means that if they own a rifle or some kind of weapon, otherwise they can send in an uh, application to okay. Sysselmannen, which is the governor and the police up here. So they send in an application, uh, it's a certificate from the police saying that they don't have any record. One of the differences up here if you compare it to other countries where local population has easy access to rifles is that up here there's a very clear reason why you have it and it's to be able to move around freely on the island and you also know that there has to be an emergency situation before you use it. Everyone here has a rifle, uh, there's no accidents. It's very easy to get a rifle license up here for polar bear protection. I might take the hunting license this spring. It's a little bit funny, I'm a vegetarian. But living up here has kind of changed my view on that. 